Hi, I'm now going to have a look at creating an unmatched query for the advanced CCDL using Access 2007. Now, the key to this is reading the question and understanding the question. So it says here, create an unmatched query called non -attend not attended that will display the first name and surname of all the records in the, and now this is the key bit, the workers table that do not have a matching record in the training attendance table. So it's saying we need to use here the workers that do not attend a training course. So we need the workers table that have not got a corresponding record, corresponding record in the training attendance table. And we need to display the surname and the first name there. So let's have a look at that as how it relates to an actual query. Okay, let's have a look now at how that relates to actually creating the query. So we need to go into the query wizard. See here one of the options is the find unmatched qu query wizard. So click on OK, and this is going to guide us through. So we need to, dis to uh, display the first name and the surname, and they were in the workers table. And we needed to find records that were not appearing in the training attendance table. Now it's guessed at the worker ID being the field that appears in both of those two tables, and it's guessed correctly here. It usually does guess correctly. I'm going to go on to next. And here it's saying, what do we want to display? Well, we want to display the first name and the surname for each person. Click on next. And now it's asking us the name that we want to use to store this query. And that is going to be not attended. Click on finish. And that's the result of our query. So if we save it and close it, and that's that question finished. Our duplicates query does what it says on the tin really and it just looks for duplicates within a table. Uh, again we use the query wizard and this time find duplicates query. Click on OK and it's asking us now which table we think we might have the duplicates in. Well, for this example, we've got some uh, time card descriptions, and we think that the um, time cards might have been put in more than once for the same person. So we're going to look at this table and click on Next. Uh, right, now we'd never have the ID or the primary key field in a duplicate because that's always going to be unique. We're looking for the fields that might appear more than once. So we're concerned the same worker as submitted cards for the same date. So we want to display these two fields, so let's click on Next. And there might be other, th the other information that we want to display at the same time. And on this one I'll also put Hours Worked and click on Next. And now it's asking us for the name. And I'm going to put in here Duplicate Wages submitted and here's the result so the worker ID that has to be unique for it to run and the date has to be unique the hours worked doesn't have to be unique on but for this particular example it actually is and that's the duplicate queries